today we're off to South Korea. Oh, look at the magnificent Gyeongbok Palace, originally built in the 1300s. Oh, so, so many people, so many lights, so much technology. Hop, 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 hop and Gangnam style. Ah, the tranquility of Jeju Island. What lovely beaches. Oh. South Korea is one of the most online places on Earth, with the highest take-up of broadband internet. Over half its population of 50 million people consider themselves gamers. Video games are a major social activity in South Korea. Its human population loves to go to places called PC Bangs, which are essentially gaming centers. An hour at a PC Bang will usually cost about $1.50 for access to your favorite multiplayer and online games. At any moment, there are more than 4 million gamers playing online multiplayer games in South Korea. Mm. Electronic sports is also hugely popular, and South Korea has the highest level of professional gaming in the world. The best esports champions can earn up to hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. At the height of his popularity, StarCraft champion Lim Yo Hwan earned over one million dollars. Mm. There are also two TV channels in South Korea entirely dedicated to video games, granting its 10 million esports fans access to all the important matches. The popularity of esports also resulted in the creation of the World Cyber Games in South Korea in 2004. Did you know a pro gamer's heart can reach 160 beats per minute, which is equal to a pro basketball player? However, life is not all rosy for gamers. About 8% of South Koreans aged 9 to 29 suffer from internet and gaming addiction. In 2011, to help the situation, the South Korean government passed a law banning children under 16 from playing certain online games from midnight till 6 a.m. With a domestic game market worth $2.4 billion, South Korea has a very healthy game development industry. Local companies such as NCSoft, Gravity and Wizet make some of the most popular MMOs in the world. You might have heard of titles like Guild Wars, Ragnarok, Maple Story, and Gunbound. Back to you, Bajo and Hex.